Hey guys, so today's a really, really exciting day. Today I'm on my way to Jan Tiersen's last concert of his Ursa tour in London, in the Royal Albert Hall. I've heard that it's going to be really different and really exciting. There's going to be some kind of deep ecology lecture at the beginning of the concert. I never expected for there to be a lecture at a concert, so that sounds really interesting. I'm thinking it might have something to do with his next musical project, or maybe with the concept of the concert. I'm in my seat now and I'm just next to the stage actually. I can see there's a big piano and there's also a little toy piano which I'm really excited about and I'm still really puzzled as to why there's this ecology lecture. There's also some kind of tape machine and a couple of bulbs so I wonder if he's going to make something with those. really really cool some really really unexpected stuff as soon as I'd heard the whole deep ecology lecture the whole thing made perfect sense because I remembered that he'd been inspired to make Ursa because of this encounter that he'd had in California with his wife with this mountain lion and it sort of stopped and made him think deeply about his connection with nature and finding that mountain lion suddenly kind of brought him back to this level of consciousness where he was connecting with nature. It inspired his Ursa album because he wanted to spread this concept of wherever you go at any point in time, a part of you becomes that place and you become part of that place and that's kind of linked to the idea of deep ecology. And he wanted to use Ursa, which is the island where he's lived for the last 10 years, as his concept for these 10 pieces. And he wanted to get across this sense that the pieces were the island and it's kind of, when you listen to the pieces, you're kind of taken on this journey around the island. And you've got the little hen pieces in between, which are the pathways. And I liked how in the concert, the pathways were a little bit different to how they were in the CD. He allowed a little bit more room for improvisation. And the tape recording machine, that then made perfect sense as well, because that was his field recordings that he used when he recorded at Abbey Road, that go with all the pieces. I really liked all the other variety as well. After he played all the pieces he also played a few things on violin that I hadn't heard before and he also played on the little toy pianos. He played uh, La Vaz des Monstres. He played something brand new as well that I hadn't heard before on that. He also introduced a couple of friends from Brittany a little bit later and they came on and sang a couple of things and I found that quite interesting. It was different. I, I couldn't exactly make out what they were saying because I think it was in Breton but it was an interesting, different element to have in the concert. I think my favourite thing in the concert, apart from uh, Laddie Spoot that he played on melodica and piano and the Ursa pieces, was one of the last little pieces he played in the encore, which was like, it sounded almost like a little fast train moving. Before I finish today's video, I want to answer another question that I've had from one of you. Thank you for your question, Leigh Kemp. Leigh Kemp wanted to know, did you come away with any interesting instruments from your visit to Tassos Stamu's workshop? Actually, I didn't come away with any instruments from him, but my favourite instrument was probably that little green keyboard from the 1960s, because that was really different and it was a little bit like a stylophone as well, I thought. And he did say that next time he might show me his really special modified stylophone. So I hope you enjoyed this video and the little surprise of me heading to Jan Tiersen's concert in London today. A little hint for tomorrow's video is that it's also Jan Tiersen related. If you did enjoy the video, you're very welcome to hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, to subscribe to my channel, you can do that by clicking in the corner over here. And there should be a couple of videos popping up right now for you to watch.